Hi, I'm Ms. Thorson, and I want to show you three simple ways to keep up with your work in Google Classroom. If you're new to Google Classroom or your teachers are new to Google Classroom, it can feel like there are a lot of assignments coming really fast, and it's not always easy to know what's due when and where to find what you have to do. There are three places that you need to look, and they're pretty easy to find. We're going to start on the Google Classroom homepage. So this is where you land when you first log into Google Classroom. You uh, either go to classroom.google.com, or if your school has a specific portal they want you to use, then you start there. But however you get there, when you first log in, this is the page you're going to see. It has all of your classes, and each class has a card. If you don't have that, or it says you don't have any classes, make sure you're logged in with your school account. If you're logged in with your personal account, it's going to show you as not having any classes because your school is probably asking you to log in with your school account. So each card here represents one of the classes. And you can see I had some of my coworkers add me to their classes as students so that I could show you the student view. Each card has a list of the upcoming assignments. So I can see that Ms. Dodson's RELA Mod 1 class has two assignments that are due on Sunday, a Google Meet tutorial and a resources tutorial. And I know that these are assignments that I haven't done yet. So we're going to go to the Google Meet tutorial and we get there just by clicking on it right from the card. Easy to find. So Ms. Dodson asked them to watch a video that she made about how to get into Google Meet so that they'll be ready to meet with her in their virtual meetings. All you have to do is mark it as done, or in this case, I'm going to click turn in because I added an assignment and that's really easy to do. So if I have to respond, if she asks her students to write a response in a document or to create a drawing or a video or a slide to respond, they can add or create that response right here using the add or create button. And you can either add something that already exists from your Google Drive, attach a link, if you have like a school blog, uh, attach a file, upload a file from your computer, or if you need to create something new, you can create something new directly in Google Docs or Google Drive from this link. I created a Google drawing that I'm going to attach as if this were my response. And now that I have viewed the video and made my response, I'm going to turn it in. Now, if I realize afterwards that I made a mistake, I can unsubmit, get that document back, make any changes I need to make, and then resubmit it. This was the number three, the Google Meet tutorial in RELA Mod 1, and we just submitted it. So it should, when we go back, be gone. So you'll see that because I have completed the assignment, it's no longer on the card on my homepage. So the cards are only going to show you upcoming assignments that are still due. The next place to look for assignments is to go to the calendar. And we're going to use this menu right here, the three horizontal lines in the top left, and go to the calendar. This calendar is automatically generated by Google Classroom. Every time your teachers post an assignment with a due date, that assignment is automatically placed on this calendar. One limitation of the calendar is that it only shows assignments on the day that they are due. So you can see here, there's a fourth quarter welcome letter that was due on Monday. But if I were in last week, I wouldn't see that fourth quarter welcome letter at all. So I won't see it until the week that it's due, which means if it's Friday and I want to know what's coming up for next week, I have to click forward. So if you're using the calendar, make sure you click forward and check the week ahead or maybe even two weeks ahead if you have a class that tends to have long term assignments. The other limitation of this calendar is that it will show all of your assignments whether you have done them or not. Remember, we already did the Google Meet tutorial and turned it in, but it's still here on my calendar. So this will tell you what assignments are coming up, but it won't tell you whether you've done them or not. The third place that you should look, we're going to go back up to our main menu, the, two, the three horizontal lines in the upper left corner, is at our to-do list. So find the classes you are enrolled. You want the enrolled to-do list. The to-do list is my favorite. The to-do list shows everything that is past due and everything that is coming up soon. So I can see here 
that back in November, Ms. Cohen's RELA 7 class had a quiz. And I can click right through to that assignment. If I were going to take this quiz, I would click through here to the quiz. Now, as it turns out, this quiz is not available anymore because it's from way back in October. But whatever the assignment is, you just click through. In Google Forms, you would take the quiz directly there. And when I'm done, I'm going to let Ms. Cohen know that I have finished the assignment by marking it as done. And this is the same as turn in, except when you mark as done, it means you're not attaching any documents. So again, I can add or create a document to attach if I need to write some kind of response to the assignment. And then when I'm done, I mark it as done. So this was the taking sides quiz, chapters four to six. Let's go back to our to-do list, going back to that menu on the top left and into my to-do list. And you'll see that that quiz is no longer on my to-do list because it is done which means it will actually show up in my done tab over here. And this one goes back the other way. So this one, I would have to go down to the bottom. So here it is, chapters five and six, done. Now it does say done late. One thing about Google Classroom, if you turn stuff in late, there's no lying about it because the computer records the time that you did it. But those are the three ways to keep track of what you're doing. You use the main menu, you start on your homepage and see what's coming up in each class. So I can see that Ms. Cohen's RELA 7 class does not have any assignments with due dates that are coming up. I can see that Ms. Dodson's RELA Mod 1 has a resources tutorial that they need to watch. Um, and again, this only shows you upcoming assignments. It does not show you anything that is past due. I can look at the calendar and that will show me all of the assignments, whether I've done them or not, and I can move backwards and forward in time to see what's coming up. And I can use my to-do list. And my to-do list will show me all of the assignments that I have not done yet. Now, let's say I think I've taken this quiz for Ms. Dodson. This quiz happened back in November, but I remember very clearly taking this quiz. It's possible that I took the quiz and then I didn't mark as done. So if your teacher says you haven't done the work, it might be because you didn't click mark as done. So after you have done work, make sure that you click mark as done and use your to-do list to make sure that it's marked as done in Google Classroom. So it's a good double check to make sure that things are turned in. So I can see that I did this work, I just haven't marked it as done yet. So it is an extra step to make sure that everything is done. That's taking sides, quiz five, chapters nine and 10. And when I go back to my to-do list as a student, that will be gone. So that's gone. So those are the three ways to keep up. Use your homepage, use your calendar, use your to-do list, and good luck.